make it the 40 to the 42. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Six yards to go here on second down. Smith now to throw. Wilson snags it left side. And he'll be taken down into enemy territory. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Fresh set of downs here. Smith with a give to Hunt. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second down following the run. Play action. It's Smith. Big play through the air. Second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. What are your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass and when he comes at the quarterback he better get home and make the play otherwise a big play could result for the offense on fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away Judge will walk it off. And he says it went back. Tough starting field position here. And a short gain here across the 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. They'll run again now with Darquan. 
Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage alarm. take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. The fourth-year man from LSU, Brad Wing, to punt it away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. To throw on second down is Smith. on the catch. It's third down. Let's make this one simple. Getting his feet in bounds. Toe tapping. And of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Third down and four. Just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far in first down before he caught that football? Yeah, gotta catch it first because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Here's Dustin. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And the kick's away. here if anything I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball the biggest playmakers you have that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving so get it to the horses without a doubt they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone trash their way when they get to the huddle they have a few words to say to their QB aren't they yeah hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw luckily fell in they find some open field here 
And he'll be taken down just shy of the 40. A big hitter there. First first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one's there. And now a first down following that long gain. They'll run it now. That's a foot race. 30. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Giants. Orleans Darkwa, 61 yards. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. It's up, it's good, and the Good drive there, only spanning three there in the end to top it off. Rosas now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On first and 10, Smith. On target over the middle of the hill. And they're gonna get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So here we go, first and ten now. seemed like everyone was using it but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit but when you call it at the right time and you use it properly you see the type of gains you can get a nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback Look at the guy who caught 
lift it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. So now out come the Giants. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense. is just moving in the wrong direction I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back former defensive guy now as a quarterback third and long you really got to rally the troops here don't you yeah you do in a big way and what else do you have to look out for more pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. incomplete had the right idea there trying to throw it to the sideline but he let him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver ends up falling to the ground incomplete so they're still at the original line of scrimmage here second down and two incompletion than a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DB. Shotgun now for situation really nice job defensively they knew where the sticks were they got the stop before it here's brad wing now and no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were to come away with 
nothing. Not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that. With Hunt. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. A keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. And while I didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now following the run. Two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. And they're not going to get a playoff here as time will expire on this first quarter. 7-0 is our score. Back to MetLife Stadium in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. As we begin the second quarter, and they've got it here with a first down. celebrations we're seeing across the NFL. How about the sack race? He scored the touchdown. So they must have known to the goalpost after a touchdown. That's a penalty. That's a penalty because the only prop you can use is the ball. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third. A shotgun snap for Smith. He is going to find him. who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Oh, that was 
is dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. immediately there. No gain on that one. And ten. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. The Giants on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. Here's Brad Wing now. Chiefs now. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted one. football game.
closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has. And that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000. Charles. NFC picture right now for the playoffs. You got the Saints, Vikings, and Rams at 70 and out of that side. Well, I'm seeing the things that you're seeing. Those teams setting the pace, and I'm not sure how they're going to head it off. Now, the one I'm identifying as a real potential is going to be the LA Rams because they just haven't done it with their plan at a really high level. They are actually down if it turns into a tiebreak. Philadelphia, imagine playing in front of those people. New Orleans in the Superdome, okay? Madden if Seattle gets it, how tough it is there. But Minnesota, if they win it and win out, they host the Super Bowl. Think about that. didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Here's Brad Wing now. finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. When halftime rolls around in just a bit, we'll send you to Orlando. You will hear the dulcet tones of Mr. Larry Ridley with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Does dulcet mean good? Yeah, it's just something that broadcasters say. It's got to be good, right? It's gotta be you good. tell me. Well, it's got to be good if Larry's doing it. now looking to throw on second down and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down it's a lot of contact going on there and in the end unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body everything looked pretty good until the finish the Chiefs on third down lacking much success just two for seven to this point this is third and ten Here's Smith. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination, 
Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Eli Manning getting ready to go again on offense. And it's actually been out of the backfield, handing the ball off where they've had a lot of success. So if you're the quarterback, do you just maybe say, you know, maybe this isn't my day. Our running game's going so well, you just continue to lean on that? I agree. That's exactly what you do. And you have to kind of take your ego and put it aside because you always think your next throw is going to be your best throw, right? Your next play is going to be your best play. Lean on what's working for you right now. That should help carry your team to victory if things keep going in the direction that they are. Yeah, because the formula has them the lead currently. They'll run with Darquan. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. second down and this is caught at the eight a really nice gain of 25 yards Incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Again, it's Manning. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play.
This offense so far on third down, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and goal. On the run, here's Vereen. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Shane Vereen as the first half is winding down. And the Giants add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Rosas now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. a face mask certainly looked like it indeed here come the flags well we looked at each other right away we knew that flag was coming out and I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you I don't want to throw the flag but you caused the play you did it I had to Smith. It's Kelsey on the ground. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot here before break. Smith, he's going to float this over the middle deep. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Giants are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Chiefs just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. First and 10, he breaks free from the defense, and this two-play drive goes for a touchdown as they take a 7-0 lead. 
Now first and 10, Smith's got the completion here, and he'll be tackled at their own 48-yard line. A fumble would later end the drive. Third down from inside the 10. Fareed's got it on the run, and he'll run it in from five yards out as they move out in front, 14-0. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando for the call of the second half. Let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Yeah, the Giants ready to come out now. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They'll run it now out of the gun. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Three yards to go here on second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. comes to the line now first and ten they'll run it now out of the gun and for one of the few times here today this run's not going to go anywhere officially no gain on the play and it's second down and there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. On play action, now Manning. Looking deep downfield. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he's going to be marked down deep into Kansas City territory. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. First and goal, defense with their backs against the wall. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. 
Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make it third and goal. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. And this offense on third down today, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. To throw, it's Manning. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Shane Vereen, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game being on second half no matter what. Whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. Rosas now to add the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Rosas now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Smith on first down. Over the middle it's incomplete. Demetrius Harris the intended target. And now it's second down. Now that gives me a second to give a shout out here Charles to Adrian Claiborne. He had six sacks against the Cowboys this last week. Absolutely phenomenal performance. Now we're listing his name next to guys like O.C. Yumanura, Fred Dean who's a Hall of Famer and Derek Thomas who's a Hall of Famer. I mean we're talking about some of the all time guys getting to the quarterback. Six sacks. It also helped that Tyron Smith the all-pro left tackle for the Cowboys didn't play. Chaz Green tried to replace him to no avail. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Chiefs on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and four. From the gun, here's Smith. They're able to locate Wilson. 
And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Does just love advanced stats. For Alex Smith last season, 2.38 seconds from the snap to the ball was out of his hands. He's Fast, quick. Fastest of any quarterback in the league. Another instance right there. Now the offense lining up first and ten. On the run, this is Hunt. And he's got some space here. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Dance class, anyone? <laughs> Did you see the steps between the quarterback and the running That's back what you on need that for counter a good play? Counter. You have to have it because you're setting up your blocking. There's a timing element as well, but they have to marry up their steps. Otherwise, that timing gets thrown out the window. Timing was great there and a big run. Not that we necessarily see this as being in the cards, but worth noting that 21 points would equal their franchise record for largest deficit overcome. Certainly plenty of work to do between now and then. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looks pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On first and goal, they'll try the option. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Alex Smith keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up. It's good. And that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And New York set to take the field. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now a play fake. Manning. 
And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. The Giants on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, Manning. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Here's Brad Wing now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Chiefs now getting set to go. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They run with Hunt, and he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be third and six. They'll run it now. This is Chuck Hendrick West. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. Try to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped. Ten yards. First down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game of the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. time they say uh oh as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage that'll set him back with a loss of three on the play and that's going to lead to a third down but these guys are going to chop into that deficit they got to do a much better job in the run game caught behind the line of scrimmage no yardage will be found and five in the secondary now for the giants on third down A shotgun snap for Smith. 
And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. It's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, standing just outside his own goal line. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Now a play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And to give this time to the tailback. It's a pickup of 17 there. And that'll lead here to a third down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. The Giants on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This time they face a third and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked out sideways. Right near midfield. They get nine out of that one. And as a result, the drive continues. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So it'll be first down here after the run. From midfield, here's Manning. Now he's going to send this one deep. Oh, wide open, complete. And he's going to be marked down deep into Kansas City territory. A gain of 39 that time. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Watch left. Watch left. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes after that play. Did we just see that runner not get yardage? A big time play by the defense. It does happen occasionally, even against the best running backs who are having big days. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. Manning going to give it to Perkins. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. The Giants on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Manning. And he's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On fourth down, off goes Manning, and on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas, for the field goal try. And Rosas puts this one through, and that'll push the lead up to 17. And you figure with that, this game's pretty well out of reach. It would take a heck of a comeback at this point, being three scores down. I think that's too much to ask with time winding down here in the fourth. To the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldened a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. On second and ten, Smith. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. That 
the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Rosas to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded at the two. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. off the pick six it's Smith it's a short one here complete to his tight end and he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there five yards on the catch there brings up second down decent start to the drive but let's face it they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores yeah they're gonna run their two-minute offense here in this game but this is for future games can they get better and be ready for the next time hopefully with a chance to win Second down, here's Smith. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Smith. Able to find Harris complete. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. and 10 Smith he's going to leave this for his running back it's complete and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage but no more than that nothing on that one it'll be second down the defense loves to hang their hat on that don't they you get a guy that catches the ball but you stop him for no gain without a doubt because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch and they miss and that turns into what a huge play we've seen it so many times in this case though catch was made put down right on the spot. Ten yards still left on second down. Right, right, right. Right, right. 
Smith going to leave it to Hunt on the draw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Set up through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now Smith. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made, pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far, nothing going right offensively. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Throwing again, Smith, complete, the tight end, Kelsey. That catch good for five, it's third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Out of the gun, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And this is going to be incomplete. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Giants are going to get the football back. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Second down following the run. Going to give this time to the tailback. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, 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 yes. 
Here's Vereen. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And they're going to try for the fourth down conversion. Manning and the offense staying put. They'll go for it. It's Manning. And that's complete to Lewis. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. 18 yards the game for number 18. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. get him down right about the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. zone this time. Manning to throw on second down. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And that takes us from second to third down. There's so much precision in an offense, especially when you're throwing the ball. And in an out route, Plenty of it. How about the quarterback hitting his back foot? Balls out of his hands. Receiver making his break, making his cut. He's got to time up perfectly. Not always easy to do. Just let him a little too much. Yeah, I remember back in the good old days, I was talking to a quarterback, and he said everything they did was on the count system. So when he took a snap, he counted in his head for certain routes, different time frames for each one, and he knew if the ball wasn't out of his hand at that point, he'd better eat it because the play was dead. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of three to bring up fourth. 
On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long, he's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And the kick by Rosas is good. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. To the field goal. Here's Rosas to kick it away. This fielded at the two. <laughs> Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32 yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game. But I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. So the offense has it first and 10. Here's Smith. Harris has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Smith from the gun, he'll throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Jason Pierre-Paul in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. So the defense gets to the quarterback. Now the offense backed up on second down. This is Hunt. A decent run there following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. 
So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. third down they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first throwing on third down Smith he is going to find Hill here and he gets it to the 34 good enough for the first a Kansas City first down Smith finding Hill that time on first down it's Smith and pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Second and ten. Smith again. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Third and two, Smith. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. And Butker able to put this one through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's likely not going to matter much, but at least they get themselves three points closer to respectability. And I don't know that they're going to feel a whole lot better about things because they've clearly been outplayed all game long. But, hey, no reason not to take the points when the opportunity presents itself. to the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home all right and sometimes you don't win all of them but they managed to get that done today just think about your routine stays the same everything's familiar you feel right going into the game and they translated that into a win they did indeed they protected the home field and now the final stages they'll run it now out of the gun and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.
So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Giants are winners as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.